him as God's prophet, as God's priest, as God's king. See, those are the three areas of opposition, prophet, priest, and king. That's what he came and fulfilled as God's servant, and that on behalf of that people that God gave him to save. If you look over in Matthew 27 and verse 20, 27, Matthew 27, 27, Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. They stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. See, back here in Matthew 26, they're mocking him as prophet, where it says, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is, he, who is it that smote thee? Here they're mocking him as king. And you can see in other references where he was mocked as, as the priest, God's priest, high priest. They stripped him, put on him a scarlet robe, and when they had planted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. I will tell you that this is what people do in religion today. When you set forth Christ as sovereign, they begin to mock because they have such a high opinion of themselves and their supposed free will that when they come at you and attack you and pretty much are telling you, I, I, that's not my Christ, what they're doing is the same thing as these that, that crucified him. But you know, such were some of us. We were of that same mindset. And when the Lord brings that home to your heart, that's where you begin to see just how gracious a God He is because He could have left us there.